Stop wasting your time with strength programs made by people that have no idea what real life is like. A lot of plans are not designed for people that work, have kids, have a bunch of responsibilities, and hardly any time to take care of themselves. But don't fear, comrade. I'm here to help with a few things to consider for your program and a special offer. You want something that's going to work long term, something that you're going to be able to commit to. Well, what are the building blocks? What sort of things should you be considering or looking for when you pick a strength program? Because nowadays there's no shortage of online coaches, training apps, and programs to choose from. They're, they're, it's endless, the amount of options we have nowadays, and it can be overwhelming. So how do you weed out the correct ones for you? Well, here are some things for you to consider. The first thing you want to consider is, is the program scalable to where you are right now? Are you a beginner? Are you an intermediate? Are you someone that's advanced that's looking to compete at a high level at something like powerlifting or marathon running? Then that is going to dictate what sort of programs are appropriate for where you are and where you want to go. So being scalable, you want to find something if you've, you're somebody that's never worked out or has never done anything super active for quite some time, then you want to find something that's going to meet you there and be able to progress you in the right direction. Something that's not going to be crazy, not going to have an overwhelming amount of sets and reps or a huge time commitment either. Now, speaking of time, you want something that's going to be flexible. Most people, myself included, have a lot of things going on on a daily basis. We have a lot of responsibilities, uh, jobs, kids, grocery shopping, whatever it may be. You have a lot of things going on, so you need a program that's going to work with your daily life. If you usually go to the gym and you have a commute and you go to the gym for an hour, but maybe some days you don't have two hours to commit to between your commute and your gym time. Maybe you need to get some equipment for home so you're able to do some, some sort of modified version of your usual program. Or maybe you need a program that is able to water things down a bit on those days so you can do a 30 minute workout instead of an hour. Or maybe you don't have an hour at all. So you need something that's going to be flexible and you can do that with pretty much any program again, depending on your goals, uh, but you can pretty much do that with any program by prioritizing the things that are the most important in the program. Your program should be so flexible that even if your boss is being a tool, your car is breaking down and your kids are losing their minds, that you should still be able to sneak away for 10 or 15 minutes while your spouse watches them. If you are in the market for a good strength program, check out the FTS Foundation 2.0. This is my new program that I've enhanced from last year. The beauty of this is it is for beginners, but it's also scalable for intermediates as well, containing a bunch of different exercise variations that you can use along with video demonstrations that are linked to my YouTube channel with dozens of videos that are going to help coach you along the way to do the exercises properly, you're going to get much more out of this program. Get a strength program that will meet you where you're at now and progress you to where you want to go for the price of a nice dinner. Progressive! You want your program to get you where you want to go. Your program should systematically take you from where you're beginning to somewhere you want to be whether that's getting stronger or being able to do more reps with the same weight or achieving some sort of mastery of a workout that you're having a hard time with right now. So say you have a really hard time with squats, by the end, maybe you feel like you have a better technical proficiency with that movement, for example. But whatever it is, there should be a progression to it. On a weekly or a monthly basis, you should see some sort of increase in your reps or the amount of sets that you do or the weight that's recommended or the rest periods might get longer or shorter depending on what kind of program you're doing. You should see different training variables like that changing over time and making the workout more challenging, uh, but again, still flexible. So having something that's going to progress you is going to be key if you want to see actual results. So if you find yourself doing the same things over and over again for months on end, it's not a good program. It should 
probably go through a three or four week cycle and then you should see something change and maybe get harder. Your program should be able to progress you so well that by the time you're done, you look like you've gone through puberty again because your muscle tone is through the roof. Finally, your workout should be fun. I mean, why do it, right? Or at least tolerable. Not everybody likes exercise. When I first started as a coach, I loved exercise. And that's how a lot of trainers get into the industry. They like going to the weight room. They like running, whatever. And they expect that all their clients are going to like it too. But you know, we've grown as an industry and myself as an individual. I know not everybody likes it, but if you can find a program that you enjoy or you hate less than other programs, then that is the one you should stick with because it's going to help keep you consistent. If you enjoy doing what you're doing, you're going to be consistent. When you're consistent, you're going to see results. And when you see results, you're going to in turn be more consistent. You're going to want to keep doing that to see those results continue to unfold. So it should be something fun. If you don't like doing lunges, maybe swap them out for a squat variation. If you don't like doing push-ups or chin-ups, maybe find something like lat pull-downs or chest presses to do instead. You need to find things that you enjoy and then use them to get consistent and get results. Maybe later on down the road, you can try some of those other exercises. But for the time being, for the first six weeks, eight weeks, few months, try to stick with those exercises. And when maybe it's getting a bit stale, try some of the other ones to mix it up.